Yes, Abyssal Whip. What a way to start the video. I am doing some smoke barraging and I get a whip. I think I've got like 1.5k Abyssal Demon kills now and 3 whips I think I've got overall, so not that bad. 113 cave krakens, I'm going to do the boss on that and hopefully get a kraken tentacle because we have multiple whips now as you saw in the first clip, so let's see what we can get. Oh, I got the rune light notification, meanwhile doing this boss and uh, this is what I tab into. Jar of dirt, that's probably in the chat as well, yes it is. <laughs> Just one guy saying grats. That is uh, pretty sad, what case is 191, let's go to collection log actually and uh, go to kraken, where is kraken, it should be here. What I've got so far is two tridents, which is pretty rare actually, very lucky, and a jar of dirt. So let's get the Kraken Tentacle and the pet now. Oh my god, what's the odds of that? I just completed a task and I went to Konar for my 250th task, and I got Cave Kraken again. So only 85 this time, going to do it on the boss, maybe lucky this time. Trident of the Seas for another one, that is a 1 in 512 drop rate, and I now have three of them in 261. Are you kidding me? This is getting ridiculous. 307 KC, another trident of the seas. My collection log on this boss has to be looking absolutely insane with all of these tridents. Look at this, four of them and one jar of dirt. Oh, all right, that's decent, I guess, but would love to get a Kraken Tentacle or the pet. And that is the last one. Look at that, 630 points. That is ridiculous, but uh, now I'm actually going to do something else which does have to do with Slayer. Right? It's going to help us basically with Slayer. I want to access another block slot on the Slayer Master and that is for 250 quest points. And I am very close to that. I have 247 quest points right now. And I have a couple of quests I can do that should be easy quest points. For example, Monk's Friend. But that only gives one. But uh, I will have a look at what I can do. And we're going to try to get three quest points. One quest points from the Monk's Friend quest. And you know, I thought of something when I did this. When you complete it, you get these balloons on the ground. Imagine if they would do like a 1 in 10 million chance to get like 100 million cash pile from popping these. So many people would make bots that would just do this quest on repeat on like 100 accounts. And I mean, eventually they would make money from doing this, which is crazy. I've actually never done this quest, what lies below, and what is this boss fight? <laughs> His animations of hitting is so bad. Oh my god, I think I have to operate this when he's 1 HP. Does it work now? Oh, it does. Okay, nice. A very easy fight, of course. It's a pretty low level quest and it gives one quest point, but uh, that was a trippy fight. Complete the quest and gain experience. Yes, give me the experience. That is the first time I've ever seen a pop-up like this, but yeah, I guess of course. 8,000 runecrafting, that is pretty nice, but now with the runecrafting minigame, that is uh, not that much experience anymore because it's so much better now to train. But anyways, 249 quest points, one more to go. And here we go, this is the final quest I needed to do for 250 quest points, which is a soul's bane, which is a very short and fun quest actually to do. You can see how short it is by how much experience you get. It's a very early game quest that I just have not done, but that is 250 quest points. And I'm not sure what task I'm gonna block quite yet, but I guess I know when I see it. Suppose I'm hard AFK Slayer a bit too much, that is 88 Slayer. I actually realized it when I teleport off my task. But uh, three more levels to go until Cerberus is unlocked. Talking about Cerberus, look in the chat, so many grazes, and that is because Dovidas just got the first Primordial Crystal for the team, and I think we're going to let him have it until further when we get more of them, because it's only fair that he gets to use the first one as he got it. Four rune dragons. Interesting task, maybe I'll get some dragon limbs. I did not get any dragon limbs. Well, here is the answer. Until I get 91 Slayer, this is going to be on my block task, 153 Hellhounds. One of the worst tasks if you're not doing Cerberus, in my opinion. So I'm just going to block that, and we will not get any more of those in the future. And of course, when I get to 91, I will unblock those. So currently, Dark Lorder is 86 Herblore, and he can, with a pie boost, boost all the way to 90 and make super combat potions. As you can see, we have 35 of them, and I think we made some more before when we went to Bandos. But making them is a pain when you land exactly on 90. So he's trying to get to 87 right now to be able to boost to 91 and more efficiently make them. So I'm going to deposit a bunch of herbs that I've got from Slayer. You can see all of them in my inventory right here. Not sure if they will even fit in the group storage. But yeah, most of these lanternimes are from crazy archaeologists. So I guess that's one good thing of having so high KC. 
I always do my list admin shamans in hopes of getting a dragon warhammer, but look at this, why is there an imp here? I know that they teleport around like randomly, but uh, has to be quite a coincidence to teleport in here and kind of get stuck. I don't even know if it can teleport out at this point. Oh man, I wish I got this loot beam on the shamans, but abyssal whip is definitely not bad. All of these are going to go into tentacle whips whenever we actually get some crack and tentacles. So yeah, just one more to the collection. I think I have collected four of them now for the team. And here is the updated stack of the super combat potions. We now have 1000 of them, which is just one super attack, strength and defense in one potion. So instead of using three slots for my inventory, or rather two if I would use Sarah Domain Bruce, I only have to use one, which is super good. I have done half a million slayer experience in this video as you can see on the counter on the top right but I did get a cave kraken task so I do want to complete that but after that I am done with slayer for this video but we made some nice progress. It is very early in the morning that is why my voice is a bit different now by the way but uh, that is the task done 271 tasks done 417 kill count and it got no kraken tentacles it's one in 400 but now I am actually going to do some clue scrolls. I'm going to collect medium clue scrolls and do an equal amount as Dark Will Order. We're going to open them at the same time. But uh, meanwhile, I'm doing some clue scrolls here. I found a poll booth in Brimhaven. Isn't this the most random area to put a poll booth? I don't think anyone ever would use this. You know, when your mom tells you what to bring from the grocery store, it's like milk, coffee, eggs, and kill a man, by the way. 24 medium clue scrolls is what I got from 500 implings, which is definitely lucky, it's 4 above what I should have. But right now Dark Will Order is asleep, but I think he actually collected 1000 eclectic implings. But he's going to be opening 24 caskets probably along with me. But uh, yeah, he's asleep right now, so I'm going to actually try to get the Lumberjack outfit meanwhile waiting for him. Because I am going to have to AFK woodcutting in the future, just for total levels. And of course, redwood logs are pretty good to get for the Abyssal Lantern that they uh, released into the game recently with the Runecrafting minigame. So I am going to do some temple trekking, get the Lumberjack outfit, and have it done for the future. Bro! How do you die in temple trekking? This snail is fuck. What the f- <laughs> Well, I did temple trekking for like 15 minutes, I got no lumberjack outfit pieces, and Dark Will Order just logged in. So we're going to do the medium clue opening right now, and after I will do the lumberjack outfit completion. And all that really happened was I died to a snail, as you guys saw. But uh, we're not going to open 24 medium clue scrolls each. We're going to open 21 and 24 because we decided to do 500 eclectic implings openings each and see how many clue scrolls we get. And he got 21, I got 24. So overall, it's going to be 45 medium clue scrolls. So let's see if we can get anything good. Uh, well, why do you go for the free first, actually? <laughs> oh yeah, I, I could do it. So, so, so I'll open three now? Yeah, you know what it is, right? Is uh, the collection logs don't pop up until you finish opening clues as well. Oh yeah, they true. They all pop up at once, so it'd just be a big block. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> let, let me get an equal amount of uh, clues as you now, so I'll open the three first ones. Alright, good luck. Oh my god, Swordfish, you Longbow. Oh, got a unique. Adamant, Shield, Age 2, and Terrible. Okay, now I have 21, now I have 21. Alright, um, yeah, I'm gonna open them fast. I'm not gonna like, yeah, it, but I'll go quite fast because I don't want to miss the thumbnail. Well, I'm yep. probably wouldn't put it in the thumbnail anyway and ruin it. But alright, you ready? <laughs> oh yeah, wait, wait. You wanna go through all 21 like kind of fast? Yeah, yeah. But okay. Not, like, yep. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, click, click. Okay, click, yeah, I'll do click, the same. Like, I'll do the same. Sort of speed, and then I'll just mention if I get anything notable. Yep. I won't mention like every unique, but yep. We'll see what goes bam in the chat. Yeah, you ready? Um, Wait before you close down the the last interface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> then so we get bad. all the spam, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ready? I'm ready. All right, good luck. Let's go. Oh, oh my god, I've already got so many uniques, man. It's going to start spamming. Dude, what <laughs> yeah, is this? I've got quite a few. Wow. Oh my god. I'm actually getting a lot of- Oh, I got the first boots. Climbing boots G. It's not- Oh, you got me excited! No, <laughs> yeah. I thought they were like holy sandals or something. Oh, I wish it was. So many uniques. Oh my god. <laughs> a war blessing. I think a lot of people in the leagues wanted the war blessing. Oh well, that's all my clues. I'm open. finished. You finished? Yep, I am. Alright. Close it now. <laughs> 
Bam. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Whoa. Now we gotta now we gotta pick up everything from the ground so it doesn't despawn. Yeah. <laughs> did, did, oh no, did, I didn't think this through. <laughs> <laughs> did you get a master clue? Uh no, I already had one in the bank. Ah, but, I uh, see. Yeah, yeah, I, I got a, I go. got a master. I'm gonna try to complete it, but I don't know if I will be able to. I've tried a couple. I did complete one though, so. But I yeah, think, I think I've done two or three. Bro, it's the collection log thing just keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's still spamming collection log items. I can well. see your stuff on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I see yours as well. Hey, I'm gonna pick up the black bolter, dude. I picked a pickaxe from you. I'm um I'm basically dropping anything that's oh. not unique over here. So dude, I'm stealing your loot. No, don't take my links. <laughs> so I'm actually on step number six right now of the master clue scroll that I got from that opening, and I just got Fletch a rune dart as a skill challenge from Sherlock, which requires 81 fletching to do, and that is 11 levels. But there is, of course, broad arrow fletching. I am uh, not really going to do that right now, but in the next video, I'm probably going to actually try to get 81 fletching all the way from 70. And we can actually complete the master clue in the next video, but uh, yeah, it shouldn't be that bad of a grind. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind just trading you that, honestly. That <laughs> is very nice. Uh, bro, they're fletching, yeah. Confirm. Done, 300 points, so yeah. So you can just give me like 50k, 50k bro balls or what, that I can fletch. Uh, you, uh, you need 59k, I'll just give you 60k and I'll give you the headless Jesus, arrows man. as well. That's huge. And I can be mm. able to actually complete the clue scroll pretty soon. Oh my god, look at this. 60,000 broad arrows. That is all I need to get 76 to be able to boost all the way to 81. You know, this kind of changed everything. I might as well just fletch all of these, get 76, get the stew boost, and fletch some rune darts. And hopefully we can complete the master clue scroll in this video then. After not very long, that is almost 600,000 fletching experience done, and this should be 76 fletching, so we can now actually boost to 81. That was very fast, and thanks of course to Dark World Order, he has like 200,000 of these done or something. So he gave me 60k, which is of course very nice, but now we just have to get the orange spices, it shouldn't be that bad. And let's complete the uh, Master Clue Scroll step. Oh, there it is. Fletching 81, that took such a long time. I probably used like uh, 40 stews to get that. But that is the rune dart fletched and the challenge completed. And this I can do. Maybe I can finish this master clue scroll. Yes, that is the master clue completed. And actually for the last step I had to make some spined chaps. I had to go farm some Dagonoths at the Waterbirth Island. But uh, yeah, let's see what we get. There's so many cool uniques you can get from master clue scrolls. Like all these ornament kits I think look really good. My favorite one being the occult ornament kit. But of course we don't have an occult necklace yet. So I guess getting like tormented ornament kit would be kind of cool. Any of the god sword ones. Specifically the bandos one would be kind of cool. As that's what we have. But all of them are kind of rare. But uh, it is time to open the master clue scroll. Let's see if we can get anything good. Oh my god, that is the worst clue I've seen in a while. Lunar Isle teleports, I mean, that is an unlock, I guess, because I don't have any of them. I've never got any of them, but that is uh, pretty disappointing. But we are going to do more Master Clues in the future, anyways. It can't always be good. So we're going to wrap up the video here, but before that, we do have one last medium clue scroll, and I've been recording this like 10 times now, by the way, because I cannot say Dagonoths. It's just too hard for me to say as a Swedish person. But I got this from killing those monsters, meanwhile getting the spy in the chaps. Let's see if this is the lucky clue scroll that's going to get me the ranger boots, or the team the ranger boots rather. Uh, let's see, one, two, three. Well, it's green, but it's not ranger boots. But 101 medium clue scrolls done. But uh, as I said, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And uh, subscribe if you did, like the video. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.